Okay, thank you very much. The personality standing in front of you here today is on the next level. I am a public speaker and I focus on individual success and personal development. Today I'm going to share some things with you. I want to talk about the strategy to help students move ahead in a globally competitive and destructive environment that tends to swallow and spit out parents and teachers' efforts. So today you're supposed to learn four things from my speech. But because of time, you are going to learn one thing. Today I'm going to teach you how you can keep your passion alive in a desperate environment. How many of you want to become a medical doctor? Raise up your hand. Very good. How many of you want to become a lawyer? Raise up your hand. Very good. You see, the environment we live today is not conducive for that passion. It's not conducive for the passion we are. You see, as we grow up in this negative environment, fearful people will come into our life. Negative people that will come into our life telling us what is not, telling us what is not possible. I can remember when I started my career in public speaking, I had a dream of becoming a great public speaker, like that great Les Brown. That is my dream. That is my vision. That is what I think of every single day. And um, the highest paid public speaker is Donald Trump. They paid him 400,000 US dollars per hour. And when you convert the money to Naira, my family said, tell us what I want. Your money is too, the money is too much. Your hair is too high. Your dream is too big. Why can't you do something else? Why can't you try something else? You see, my parents, they don't believe that I can become what I want to become in life because of their limited psychology and the emotional patterns they learned from the past. They don't believe that I can become what I want to become in life because of their history. Hey, Slemon, how much money do you want to be making per hour? I said, hey, I want to be making 100,000 naira per hour. <laughs> come on, Slemon, come on, the logic. Come on, the reality. I worked for 30 days and they paid me 30,000 naira. Can you see that your dream can never come into reality? You see, they don't believe that I can become what I want to become in life because of their history. So today you will learn how to keep your passion alive in a desperate environment because when your passion is alive, your passion will be the one to drive you to take action and to make that passion come into reality. According to Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., the civil rights leader, he says, that the tragedy of life is not death, but the tragedy of life is what died inside of us. Today you will learn how to keep your passion alive. You see, I don't know you. I have not seen you before. I don't know anything about you. This is my first time. But according to the books I've read, according to the people I have listened to, according to my own personal research, here is what I know about you. I believe that you are all brilliant students. I don't care about your performance in your report card. We don't have those students here, am I right? Yes. We don't have those students here. I'm telling you today that you have something special. You have greatness within you. You have the ability, you have the capacity, you have the potential, you have the inner power and inner wisdom that no one knows about it. You have the ability to begin to do things you never imagined of doing. For those qualities you have, I want you to please give yourself a sounding round of applause. How do you keep your passion alive in a desperate environment? How do you do that? How can you keep your passion alive in a desperate environment? How can you do that? I call this uh, method MC, marker, marker and cardboard method. You see, when you get home today, I want you to get a cardboard and a marker. You understand? Get a cardboard and a marker like this. Now, when you get it, you write your, you write your name on top of it. Now, you write your name on top of the marker, on top of the cardboard. Can you see my name? My name is what? Onone Slimon. Can you see that? You write your name on top of the marker, on top of the cardboard. You understand? You understand? Now, under your name, you write what you want to become in the future. Maybe you want to become a medical doctor, or you want to become a lawyer, or whatever you want to become in the future. You write it there. I am a medical doctor. I am a lawyer. I am a whatever you want to become. Now. After that, the next step is this. The next step is to ask yourself this question. What kind of person must I become to make my dream come into reality? I want to become a medical doctor, I want to become a lawyer, I want to become an engineer. What must I start?
helped me right now as a student to make that my dream come into reality. According to Jim Rohn, he said that success is not something that you pursue, but success is something that you attract by what you become. You understand? Now let me explain this philosophy. Let me explain this philosophy. There was a, there's a girl. This girl, she's my friend. One day, she came to my house and uh, she told me all the qualities she wants to see in her future husband. She says, Clement, I want my future husband to be honest. I want him to be loyal. I want him to be trustworthy. I want him to be caring. I want him to be free to be dark. She listed all the qualities she wants to see in her future husband. And then asked her. I said, hey, do you have all those qualities in place? She said, no. And then said, then, you cannot have that kind of man. She says, Clement, are you cursing me? I said, no, I'm not cursing you. You cannot have that kind of man because success is not something that you pursue. But success is something that you attract by what you become. If you want to have that kind of man, number one, you must have all the qualities you just listed. You must be honest, as you said. You must be trustworthy, as you said. So when you are working on those qualities, your future husband is somewhere working on himself. So at the right time, you will attract yourself. At the right time, you will come together. Success is not something that you pursue, but success is something that you attract by what you become. Now, you want to become a medical doctor, you want to become a lawyer. What kind of person must you become right now to make that dream come into reality? I want to become a great public speaker, like that great legend. That's my dream. That's my vision. That's what I think of every single day. And the kind of person I must become to make that dream come into reality. Number one, I need to become a very serious student. Can you see that? You write it on the cardboard. You, become, you need to become a very serious student. What did I say? Very serious student. You need to take your assignment serious. You need to take your classwork serious. You need to take your examination serious, your test serious. You need to take all the details of this school serious because life is serious. You want to be, make your dream come into reality, you need to become a very serious student. You need to be different from other students outside there. You need to be different from other students outside there. You, want, you have a dream, you have a vision. You need to be different from other students outside there. That's number one. Number two, for your dream to come into reality, the kind of person you must become, you need to study hard. What did I say? Study hard. According to Les Brown. Is the best motivational speaker on planet. He said, I want you to please repeat this after me. If you do things that is easy, if you do things that is easy, your life will be hard. Your life will be hard. But if you do things that is hard, your life will be easy. Your life will be easy. Again, if you do things that is hard, if you do things that is hard, your life will be easy. Your life will be easy. But if you do things that is your life will be hard. Thank you very much. Now, the third one, the kind of person you must become to make your dream come into reality is this. Don't allow too much of distraction. What did I say? Don't allow too much of distraction. You see, we live in an area where people are addicted to their devices. You see, I have discovered over time that most people are so dedicated to their distraction more than they do to their academics. According to Winston Churchill, the former Prime Minister of the United States of America, he said that history will be kind to me, for I intend to write it. Mm. I think we need to focus on writing our own history by writing our goals and commitments on what is important to us. But this is what I've discovered over time. Most people, they write their goals and commitments on what is not important to them. And that is why you will see them buying things they don't need with the money they don't have to impress people they don't even know due to the distraction outside there. For you to become a medical doctor, for you to make your dream come into reality, don't allow too much of distraction. Don't allow too much of distraction. Now, after that, after writing all this, the next step is this. The next step is to paste it on the wall. Paste it on the wall where you will see it every single day. What did I say? Paste it on the wall where you see it every single day. Now, what happens when you look at your dream every day? What happens? What happens when you look at your dream every day? Scientists show that there is something in our brain called the subconscious mind. The subconscious mind is very powerful. 
95% of our life is controlled by the subconscious mind. Everything that has happened to you in the past, everything that is happening to you today, and everything that will happen to you in the future, our subconscious mind already knows it. Now, maybe you are watching the TV at night, and then uh, you eventually slept off. Our subconscious mind never sleeps. Our subconscious mind listens to everything. Now, our subconscious mind believes in something through repetition. If you look at this, your dream, every day, you look at it every day, you look at it every day, every day, every day, every day, your subconscious mind will believe in it. And um, when your subconscious mind believes in it, your brain will start looking for references to make that belief come into reality. The most important thing is to look at this your dream every day. Because if you eat three times in a day, you will be fed. But if you look at your dream three times in a day, you will be powerful. Thank you very much. God bless you. God bless you.